Hey there, everybody. It's Playing With Fire. Trying some weird angles here. Um, this is a remake of a video that I tried to do the other a couple days ago, and I was, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, this is on the RCBS uh, stuck case remover tool. And so uh, we were using my Dylan 550, and we, we stuck a... 223 case. Let's see if I can get this in there. And you can see that I went and did the mods that I'm going to be talking about very shortly. So, um, it was stuffed right hard down and in there, and there was only a little bit sticking above. So, what you do is uh, unthread your and loosen your primer punch as much as possible. And then, uh, this is the way I found it to be done easiest, is you thread it into your press upside down and then in the kit you get a number seven drill bit uh one quarter twenty uh tap or die tap and a little metal cup and uh one quarter twenty uh, nut and bolt. Uh, the bolt is Allen headed, Allen key headed. So, and it the kit comes with an with an Allen key. I've re since replaced my Allen key with this. Um, so what you do is put the nut on all the way down as far as you can get it. You use your number seven drill bit and drill down. Don't forget to loosen this all the way down as far as possible. And then when the drill bit goes through the case head, you'll be able to feel it. So you don't even have to have much pressure because this is a really soft material versus the, ste the tempered steel that that is. It'll, it'll just take a second or two and just slowly drill your way down you'll feel it go into no resistance you take the drill bit out and you're done with that then you use your quarter 20 and you thread down into your case you thread you go down one half turn you come back a quarter you go down a half and back a quarter what this does is what it what the the tap is doing is cutting threads in this material and if you don't back it off there's a possibility that a little chip of it will stick in here and rather than cutting a proper thread it's going to just try and push more and more material and basically be stripping it out before you really need that strength once that's done uh, this would be uh, thread it up all the way and it wouldn't be with this much sticking up you put your cup over top and it'll rest on your die or your uh, cap here you put your cup over top and then you thread the bolt down and it would be starting about here. And you thread down as much as possible. And then you put your quart, your wrench in there. And you start turning the nut down with a wrench. I put my other wrench away. Uh, let me look here. Where did I put it? Woulda, woulda. Uh, 
I don't know where I put my wrench. But anyway, you take a wrench and you start turning the nut. And as it's going down the, the bolt, what's actually happening is you're wrenching See if I can display what's happening. So you can see how much is exposed here. What happens when you run the nut down is it forces it down and down and down and down and down and it pulls the bullet casing upwards out of your die. Once you get it out, all you do is unthread it, put this back together, put that away, and I would immediately check over your die and clean it right then and there. Take it apart, clean it completely, see if you can see what caused it to stick. Once that's done, you go and reassemble. And then check your primer pin depth uh, when you start to run brass again. Anyway, this has been the RCBS Stuck Case Remover Tool Kit.